let us now discuss the effect of changing direction of incident light in YDSE. Here you can see this is a typical YDSE setup in which the slit plane is illuminated by a light which is incident on the slit plane at an angle of incidence theta to the normal of it. Here you can see if the incident light is inclined, out of the two slits, the slit S2 will be illuminated first and then it will illuminate slit S1 because when a wavefront will incident on the slit plane and illuminate the source slit S2, the point which is in same phase with S2 is at some distance behind from slit source S1. And if this angle is theta, this theta, this distance we can write as d sine theta. So here we can see that uh, the waves emitted from uh, the slit S1 are lagging in path uh, by a distance d sine theta as compared to source S2. So if we talk about the center of a screen, after a slit plane when the light waves will arrive at center of a screen, there will be no physical path difference as these are equal. But before eliminating the slit sources, there is a path difference introduced due to the change in direction of incident beam. So at point O total path difference we can write as d sine theta. And in this situation we can directly write at this point O, if we calculate the phase difference it is 2 pi by lambda into d sine theta and the intensity of light at point O or the center of a screen we can write as 4 I naught cos square phi by 2 if I naught is the intensity due to each slit on the screen. Now in this situation if we wish to locate a point on a screen where path difference is zero, then we can see the point will be located somewhere here and say this point is P. Then this is the point where uh, the additional path through which the wave is traveling uh, before eliminating a slit S1 will be compensated by the path difference between the waves arriving at P from S2 and S1. So we can say at point P, the path difference will be zero if it is located at a distance x, then we can see the physical path difference after the slit plane and between the screen in the two ways we can write at point P delta is equals to zero if dx by capital D is equals to d sine theta which is the situation when uh, the physical path difference between the two waves which is S2P minus S1P, we have calculated it as dx by d in the previous section. So if S2 wave or wave from S2 will cover exactly equal extra path after the plane of a slit, then at point P the resulting path difference will be zero. This implies we are getting the value of x is equals to capital D sine theta or this is the position of central maxima on a screen after changing the direction of incident light. Or here we can see when the light was incident onto the slit plane normally, the central maxima where path difference was zero when the light is rotated in downward direction, the central maxima is shifted to this position by a distance x because this is a point where path difference is zero and earlier when the incident light was normal, the path difference zero point was located at the center of a screen. So here we can see as we rotate the direction of incident light, whole fringe pattern shifts up by a distance x which is given by d sine theta. Let's continue on the next sheet and uh, we'll have a look on uh, realistic situation of uh, shift of fringe pattern due to rotation of light. In continuation, let's discuss the live shift of fringe pattern due to change in direction of incident light. Here you can see this is a typical YDSE setup in which uh, when a light beam is incident normally on the slit plane, 
you can see due to the effect of interference on a screen, bright and dark alternate fringes are obtained, and this is the fringe pattern which we have discussed. Now, in this situation here, you can see this is the point which is the central maximum on a screen where the light waves from the two slits are arriving in same phase, and the intensity at this point is 4 I naught, and the part difference here is 0. Now, if the incident light beam is rotated in anti clockwise manner, here you can see as it is rotated, the whole fringe pattern is shifting up on the screen, and the central maxima is also shifting up. And if the whole incident beam is rotated by an angle theta, the fringe pattern is shifted by a distance x, which we have just now discussed. And here x is such that this dx by capital D, which is the path difference, uh, physical path difference in the waves arriving at point P from the two slits, is exactly compensating the path difference. Which is introduced in the light beam before the slit plane that is d sin theta. On the previous sheet, we already calculated that in this situation, x is capital D sin theta, the distance by which central maxima is shifted. So, this is the shift of central maxima, or the same can be written as shift of fringe pattern. On a screen.